Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is a Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So today is Cannabis and Spirituality. And on Cannabis and Spirituality, sometimes I like to just consume some herb smoke some herb, and then um, see whatever insights come to me. <clears throat> Today, I want to specifically share with you guys, though, um, something really spiritual that's a part of my life that I've talked about before, um, but I don't know how many people, people are new here, know anything about it or are even interested in it. <laughs> so if you're not interested, then you're probably not watching because you saw the title said, tarot has tarot in there tarot card deck my tarot card deck it's not my tarot card deck it's a deck that i bought and it was made by someone else <laughs> and this was years ago but i wanted to share it with you share some of the things that i do when i'm feeling like i need extra uh assistance extra help extra spiritual assistance and guidance and a lot of times that guidance can come through doing a tarot card reading for myself so um I wanted to share that with you, but first I'm going to roll a joint because I got uh, I got a whole case of uh, trip clear cellulose papers. <laughs> so I'm totally I'm totally jazzed about that because I'll be able to roll a lot of joints with the sugar shake I still have left. So um, I don't think I brought the rolling papers in here, ironically. <laughs> so let me go grab some rolling papers and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Hello. <laughs> So these are the trip papers that I got. I just went ahead and bought a case of them. <laughs> and yeah. But <laughs> that way I won't run out. So, um, and I love to roll joints. So basically what I use, what I'm going to use is called Sugar Shake. Um, I ground it up already, so that's why it looks like that. But if you didn't know, Sugar Shake, when you grow cannabis plants, it's the little buds, the sugary leaves, and the stems uh, usually is what ends up happening when you buy a sugar shake that's what you get and take the stems to the side to leave it for a nice medicinal tea cannabis tea make a stem tea out of it and then you can um, take the leaves sugar leaves and bud grind it up and make edibles out of it or you can just grind it up and roll a joint <laughs> like I'm doing you can grind it up and put it in a pipe too. So I've done that too. I've been doing that. And if you don't want to blow through your herb too quick with joints, that's one way you do it. The only thing I don't like about this is this king size, but my husband loves the king size uh, joints. So I get those and he likes the clear papers a lot. Um, I like the clear papers too, but they're a little bit more, sometimes they're easy, but sometimes they're not easy to roll. And especially if you don't have really you know big hands I have small hands <laughs> so it's challenging but as long as you can smoke it that's all that matters these take a lot longer for me to roll so if you're waiting like come on that's why it's no, definitely not like the raw papers raw papers are a lot easier to roll um, it's just because it's stiffer um, and definitely the cigarette papers are way easy to roll <laughs> Those were the first uh, rolling papers that I used when I used rolling papers was cigarette papers. Um, my husband was given a bunch of uh, cigarette papers by somebody because they know he likes joints, rolling joints. But So uh, when I first started rolling, that's what I used. I used the cigarette papers. And the cigarette papers are just like regular printer paper, you know, all stiff. You could probably, yeah, anyway, yeah, this is a... Uh, the funny thing about the cellulose, these cellulose papers, is that there's like, it's just one big stick and there's no stick them on it, so, yeah. These are not easy to roll, but all the time, but, you know, as long as it's rolled up and it doesn't fall apart, you're okay. Even if it does fall, and here's the thing, I don't really care if things crash and burn, what people would think crash and burn on my channel. <laughs> Because we're learning, and it's like, I'm not, I'm trying to show you that, yes, I know something, quite a bit of things about cannabis, 
and I've um, researched and learned and partake taken of it for all these years. But you always gonna find you always gonna learn something new about this plant. I guarantee you every day if you continue to to research it and to be curious about it, you will learn something new about this beautiful herb every day. Never fail. Something new. So. All right, here we go. I know it's flat like a, a flat burrito, clear burrito, <laughs> but it will smoke. I better, you better believe it will smoke. All right, readjust myself here. All right, cheers everyone, and thanks for joining me today for cannabis and spirituality. <laughs> I relight it. There we go. There we go. I might want to turn up the um, <laughs> turn up the fan, cause <coughs> yeah. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with the fan on. With the fan on. <laughs> Oh god, I need an ashtray. Hold up. Okay, here we go. Ashtray. I had a little bit of an accident last night. My joint like ex just fell apart completely. Look at that. That's the after after effects of it. <laughs> I hate to say this, but I'm gonna have to pause again because I have to have a restroom break. I've been drinking so much tea, so I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. <laughs> All these breaks and intermissions. So I'm going to have a few puffs of this joint. And I'm going to show you today, on today's show, a tarot card deck that I um, have. And it really is helpful. Um, some people have these questions and they consult a psychic um, maybe more than you want to. Uh, and I feel like people shouldn't get addicted completely to like to psychics or to mediums um, because we all have that power within us. Uh, a true psychic and medium will encourage the person that comes to see them to embrace their powers and to learn on their own so that they don't become dependent on going to that person for the answers and wisdom that they have within themselves. So, um, yeah, that's something that I learned about uh, tarot and um, how it can empower you because you can see into your own future because this is your future. You see the warnings, you can see uh, things that are happening right now and things that you can do to make your life a little bit better. Um, getting out of situations that are dangerous, so the whole nine yards. Okay, so if you hear some weird noises in the background, that's people outside. Like I said, this apartment complex is <laughs> is continually being renovated. You know, I don't know. It's like it's ever gonna be done. Probably not. <laughs> I'm drinking some grapefruit juice with thyme, turmeric, thyme, turmeric, honey, and ginger. There you go. <laughs> Couldn't think of all of them. So here's my tarot card uh, um, book. And I'll show you the deck in just a bit. Yep. This is, I, I've had this for so long. It's the Celtic Wisdom Tarot by Caitlin Matthews. Um, if you want to check it out, feel free to. I don't know if it's available uh, at bookstores. It may be. This, was, this came out in 1999. So <clears throat> I don't know if it's still in print. But maybe it is. I don't know how popular it was, how not popular it was. But all I know is that many years ago, there was this uh, bookstore called East West Bookstore. And it was not too far away from where I lived at the time. So I went to it, and I felt really drawn to this, this tarot card deck. Where did I put it? Where did I put you? Oh, I put it back in my box. But this is, I made a little... Um, tarot card uh, like pouch for it to protect them but 
this is the deck I have. It's a huge deck. Um, very, very, very uh, beautiful artwork on it. And that's what captured my eye was the artwork on here. <clears throat> it kind of reminded me of how I draw myself. So the artwork was similar to how I draw. And I still like it to this day. I'm not going to say that I'll never get another tarot deck. Because I may be, I've seen some other ones that kind of look intriguing. But um, I've stuck with this one all these years. Because it has more of this like shama, shamanistic kind of vibe to it. With the, the beautiful artwork. And um, that's kind of my style. Um, I'm not really into the Rider weight, the traditional tarot deck. Um, not bagging on it, but it's just not my, I don't feel anything from it. And that's the ba basic thing from picking out a tarot deck. Tarot deck is being able to have an intuitive feeling about it. When you see it, you know it's something that uh, it's something that you do feel will help you. <clears throat> and this deck actually has very much been very helpful for me. Um, I usually like to bring out my tarot deck when um, when it's like a major event, like it's Samhain, it's which is Halloween to you all. I'm um, to a lot of people you know it as Halloween. But the pagan uh, holidays and cel celebrations, summer solstice, winter solstice, fall equinox, <clears throat> there's some other ones in there that uh, that I don't need to mention. You can get a book and read about all of them. Um, and I have book references that uh, I can put uh, up. Um, not, should I do that today? I don't know. <laughs> that you can check out having to do with those specific seasons. But yeah, I like this deck a lot. Let me take it back out. I love it a lot. On the outside is a triple spiral on the outside of it. It's just a beautiful deck all together. And um, what I've talked about is that the deck reads you. The tarot cards read you. So you're putting your energy on it. If you go to get a reading, it would be a good idea if you could put your hands on it. But a lot of times what can happen if someone is doing a reading for you with tarot cards and you're not there, it's like a phone type of reading. I'm guessing that, because I've never done this before, but I'm guessing that um, the reader is really in tune with their psychic abilities, and they can read that person through the sound and vibration of their voice. Sometimes uh, psychics are that good, so they can transmit that energy onto the cards, and then the cards will uh, pull out the reading for that person. So... Yeah, these are really... <laughs> I just like this. It's just so... Um, the drawings are so very beautiful, into, in my opinion. Well, not in my opinion. I'm sure other people believe that, too, who, who still have this deck. The deck is just... This deck is just really... For me, it's really creative to me, and that's what I like. And um, <clears throat> as I've talked about, I've, I've made a deck, a tarot deck, before for... Uh, this woman who asked me, commissioned me to, and um, I still have the images from that deck. I've shown it before on this uh, on this channel, but uh, I want to make a whole different deck myself, just my own deck based on my the artwork. And this is kind of what I like. I like this style of um, of art. How it's similar to, it conveys everything it needs to convey in it. And it just has, to me, it has some emotion and feeling in it. Um, seeing on, on film, it doesn't do it any justice. So um, <clears throat> I'm curious as to how many of you cannabis partakers uh, do use tarot to help you. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's another tool. Because I also have uh, runes as well. And I could do another video just on runes. That's what I'm saying is all the tarot cards do is reads your energy. And it's nothing is nothing scary about it at all. If you feel the need, if you really feel drawn to to reading, doing readings with your tarot cards of yourself, um, but you feel like um, you don't want to be surrounded by anything negative, what you can do is smudge the area that you're going to do the tarot card reading in. Smudge that, that room. And uh, set up an altar with a crystal, uh, protecting crystal. You can use amethyst. You can use uh, quartz crystal, uh, a crystal that is good for protection. Put that there. Um, 
light a candle, uh, blue candle, blue light protection, uh, or white candle, light that up, and uh, do your tarot card there, tarot card reading there. And, or you can, before you, after you do all that preparation on the altar, you what you can do is close your eyes, meditate, and imagine yourself being protected by a white light or a blue light. Put a white light around you and then a blue light around you and then a green light around you. So, I mean, do, do your research on the colors and the meanings of them and you'll see which appropriate protection you want to put around you um, to keep foolishness out of your tarot card reading. So um, when the veil is thinner, or is at its thinnest, which is coming up with Halloween, we will have to uh, really mind what is around us, the energies that are around us. And it's really important for me to cleanse my house even more with smudging it with whatever herb, smudging herb I have on hand to keep that energy flow, you know, stable and not unstable. So, and tarot card readings helps you, at least helps me when I feel like I have a question that can't be answered easily. So I will do that. I'll do a card. And it's basically me. It's me asking me questions. The, the cards are coming out at me, looking at me like, this is what you need to see. This is what you need to work on. And you can see it as some a, a sort of self-help is what it is, tarot card readings, when you do them for yourself. So, yep. Alrighty. I think that's all I have to say about the tarot. And I'm just wondering how many uh, people that partake of cannabis are using divining uh, ways of uh, seeing... You know, not so much always seeing it in your future. You can see into the present because there might be things that you're not looking at right now that when you do a tarot card reading, you're like, oh, shit, okay, that's going on. Things that you're not aware of. You start to tap into your psychic abilities when you do these tarot card readings because it starts to, you start to uh, really fill your intuition really even more. I've noticed, and many other people have noticed that too when they do uh, tarot cards. If you're one of those people that is just totally oblivious to what's going on in your world, this can help. It's just another tool on your spiritual journey. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes and shares. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below and let me know if you do. Um, because I feel like when we partake of cannabis, our spirituality um, is becomes more important. You know, whether you want to believe it or not, everybody's on a spiritual path of some sort. And I feel like with a lot of people, they're becoming more in touch with who they are as being on this planet through the usage of cannabis, this beautiful plant. So with that said, brightest blessings to you all, and I will see you soon.